Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a colour and chat video. Just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel and all the videos are on this channel for adults only. They're not made for or intended for children. So today we're going to be colouring in Kelly Horton's Little Dark Lids. This is one of the um, sort of spooky Halloween type uh, books I've got for this month. So I thought we'd start in this one. Got a drink of water because I'm a bit thirsty. Been a busy day today. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be using the markers. We'll use the Artuse Ever Blends. We'll probably do a bit of shading with some pencil afterwards. And we're going to be colouring in this little picture here. This lovely girl here. So as always, I'm going to start with her skin. I'm going to go to my go-to, which is barely beige. Really like that colour. And we're going to just start and have a little chat and see where we get to from there. So, first of all, I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me. And if you have been a subscriber for a while, welcome back and thank you for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. We are very close to hitting 1,000 subscribers. I'm very, very excited about that. Absolutely excited. I cannot believe how much this channel has grown in the last year since I started focusing predominantly on the colouring. Um, it is my major hobby now. It used to be my major hobby would have been photography, but... It's very hard to do photography when you've got a two and a half year old hanging off, off your arm when you're out walking. So this is something I can do when she's in bed or we can do together. We'll sit there and I'll colour and she'll have her, her pencils and crayons and she'll draw and colour and play. So it's something we do together. It's really nice. So photography is very difficult. I mean, as she gets older, I'll be able to get back into that. And I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure I will. So yes, what have I been up to? Well, I'm on annual leave this week. Um, I don't go back to work till Tuesday next week, which is lovely. So um, Paul's off this week, although he's not off Tuesday. He goes back to work. He's not off till he goes back on Monday. So um, it's just I've got some annual leave left. I get more annual leave than he does. So I've got more. I've got to get my news up quick. Um, so I still got some more days uh, to book. I'm gonna wait till. Um, for a little bit because hopefully our builder friend is he's coming on Friday to have a look at uh, the wall in Jennifer's room because it does need replastering so we can put the curtain rail up properly uh, um, so he's going to come and have a look at that because she's going to have to go into a normal bed fairly soon I think um, she's not too big for the cot but she's getting too heavy for me to lift in and out so and that means a stair gate at the top of the stairs. So she can't get down, fall down the stairs. I mean, my friend Matt said, yeah, she start, you wait, wait till she starts the lurking phase, which is when they get up in the middle of the night and come and stand in and look at you. For me, it won't press it won't be a problem because the bedroom door makes a bit of a noise when you open it. So I'll be able to... If she can open the door, I'll, I'll hear it, so. And hers does, to be fair, so. But, uh, yeah, she'll be in a proper bed soon, so. She's getting, she is getting big, bless her. So, oh, she's got a necklace on, that's fine. So, yeah, this week we've been out a little bit. So you'll see in the weekly vlog, we, we went for a walk down to Mum's yesterday and we went up to the Mariah Cemetery which was the old Mariah Chapel um, and today we went to um, I had my flu jab and then we went to Kumkan Forest Drive um, Scenic Drive where we obviously we parked up uh, in the visit by the visitor centre and then just went for a walk up to the lake. And then after the lake, we popped down to 
nanas and granddads just to check that they were all right because they'd had their flu jabs as well make sure that they were all they had everything they need so and they're all fine which they are which is great and yeah but everybody's fine which is the main thing and we're all we're all good so yeah tomorrow which is actually today you'll be seeing this on thursday so i'm filming this on wednesday uh we were, are getting our new turntable which we've wanted for a while we've been putting it off thinking we'll get the room decorated and then we'll get it but it's going to cost a fair bit of money to get the room decorated we haven't got it yet and paul's desperate for this turntable so he's ordered it i've got to put my money in the bank so i can put my share into the account because I'm the one that collects records, but uh, although he says he's going to buy a few now, we'll see. But, I, I, you know, I've got quite a few anyway, so. But he likes anything music-wise, so. So, yeah, um... Monday I'll probably be doing eBay. I'm not doing eBay this week other than sending out offers and posting sales because had we been able to go to A, I wouldn't be able to do it anyway, so. I'm just, I'm doing what I would do if I was on holiday. Well, I wouldn't even be doing that. I'd be sending out offers and that'd be it, but I can just stay on top of the post. And then on Monday I'll get back to, I'll do a load of photographs and anything like that and then we'll get back to the list then Monday night so yeah it's all good I'm currently reading Jack the Ripper the Suspects by the Whitechapel Society and then I've got a book called Jack the Ripper, the 21st Century Investigation by Trevor Marriott to read. That's um, my next one. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a ripper fest at the moment. And I'll, it'll be for a while and then I'll go on to another subject. I've got another book coming Friday um, called... Gosh, what's it called? Time with Norma Jean. Um, and it's a fictional account of somebody who time travels back to 1953 and spends time with Marilyn. So that's my Marilyn collection. The cover's quite nice. It's not doesn't show the real Marilyn, but it, it's quite a nice cover. It'll be interesting to see what it what happens, and, you know, because I, I like things like that. I like the fictional books. There's not many good factual books coming out anymore. So oh, I'm out of focus. I wonder why that was. Um, so doing the uh, fiction ones, their legs look very blotchy, don't they? <laughs> So I'll go with a pencil later anyway. Um, yeah, and we'll uh, see what that's like. So. I will be going over it with pencil, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, that's that done. Um, hmm. So yes, I'm going to do this video and then I'm going to read a little bit of the Ripper book because I do want to read it. What I do like about this one is it um, it's different chapters on different... Um, people in the Ripper world so you know for instance the different suspects that they've got like so uh, it was expanded into a full length book this is a, just a small one and I've got the full length book as well but it is slightly different but you got like Joseph Barnett which was Mary Kelly's boyfriend and you've obviously got uh, Montague Druitt and Kosminski and all these guys I'm going to do a dress red as well I love a pout. This is tomato red. 
I like this colour. So yeah, so it's all about the different suspects. So I'm really enjoying it. And the thing is you could just read one chapter, one suspect, and then call it a night, um, which sometimes is all you want. You don't always want to read loads. So in one go sometimes you do want a break but so and so that's why I'm doing it um, Still waiting for pictures from the abyss by Andrew Firth. Although I, uh, from what I gather, it's not going to be long now before that's uh, those are printed and sent out, um, signed by the author. So I'm pretty sure the Ripperology group will notify us when it's when they're on their way, basically. fun all this stuff I love books so I do like I really do like reading so I just need to read more get more more time to read it's it is difficult because most books I read are things like spots goes camping and Jack and the Beanstalk <laughs> And that's okay, because if it makes Jennifer love books, I can, I can live with that. I want Jennifer to, to enjoy books, so the fact that she likes us reading to her is a good thing. Do issues a slightly different shade of red so they stand out there. these books by Kelly Horton. She's such a sweet artist. I really do like them. I think there's two I haven't got now. I'm sure she's put out another one. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I do love this. I like this picture. I'm glad I chose this one. It was this one or the mermaid one and I thought I don't really fancy doing the mermaid. I love the mermaid but I want to do it um, a different in pencil but I wanted to use the markers I like using the markers and I haven't used markers in this book with one of these books before so I wanted to see and it looks fine I 
what have I been watching? Not a lot really, I haven't watched any TV other than repeats of Would I Lie to You and QIXL just because mostly if the TV's on when Jennifer's up it's because it's stuff she wants and we try not to put it on. So in the week when she's at nursery I do have either the news on before she gets up um, and then when I get back I have like um, breakfast TV on for a bit. And then I might put YouTube on. So what have I been watching on YouTube in the last week? I've been watching Hollywood Graveyard. Because they did um, um, some English cemeteries and graveyards. And they did a Jack the Ripper's Victims one. So that was quite good and then they had a, a load of English churchyards and that so I watched that one. They did one previously when they did the UK and Ireland um, last year and I watched those last year when they were on and it's really interesting. There are a few stars they haven't visited that I'd be interested in seeing but I'm sure that'll happen again. It's just getting somebody to film. Sometimes they get the viewers to do it and sometimes they ask somebody else to do it. So but yeah that's good. I've been watching um, record halls just I just put in a search record halls and then I go with it and watch whatever uh, comes up and then we um, what else have I been watching my usual weird stuff like um, slapped ham and weird history and weird world that's a great channel I love weird world that's all supernatural, paranormal stuff, mysteries, and I do enjoy that kind of thing. So it's it's good to watch stuff like that. I think because I am fascinated by everything. I like to learn. So I had a bit of a watched a few Jack the Ripper documentaries again. I do that every now and again. Not always. Sometimes I watch other stuff as well. I do like history. I watched Titanic. I've watched previously. I've watched stuff on Amelia Earhart and Glenn Miller. Anything that catches my eye that's interesting. Ancient Egypt. There was a really good timeline about um, the tomb of Jesus. That was fascinating. I watched that. And I'm not religious, but I found that very, very fascinating, very interesting, um, very, very, very interesting uh, documentary. I just love anything like that. I love watching people who've got collections, so every now and again I think, oh, I'll put in Madonna collection or Marilyn collection or Elvis Presley collection, Judy Garland collection, um, Wizard of Oz is one that you get quite a lot on and I have a look and I watch those videos and see. I love looking at, I, I mean because I'm a collector and I have been for years, I love looking at them as you know I've got some collection videos of my collection up, my Marilyn collection. So because there are people that like to see other things and you know this channel is mostly colouring but I do like to feature other things on here. Um, once the pandemic's over if we start travelling again there'll be more travelling stuff. There'll still be colouring obviously but there'll be um, the weekly vlogs, and there might be a daily vlog if I'm going somewhere where it warrants a daily vlog, though I think, you know, there might be specific vlogs for certain things, so if I go to a specific um, cemetery that's got a lot of information on it, I might do a specific vlog about that, or if we went to, um, where is it, um, St Fagans Museum, it's such a big place it would get its own vlog rather than be part of the, the weekly, so I'd still do the weekly vlog that week, but there wouldn't be much from the St. Fagans stuff on there. It'd be on the weekly. Still make record videos every now and again, and I'm still looking to expand that to incorporate theatre and uh, TV and cinema. 
it's just at the moment I'm so busy with everything else I just haven't got time so at the moment it is really going to stay more to do with the music and vinyl and stuff so hopefully I'll, I mean I might film an unboxing tomorrow of the new turntable I have got a couple more videos that I need to film for the channel I've got another load of singles to haul once I get my Sam Fox record I'll do a album haul um, I'm going to do the unboxing of the turntable and I've got that record I want to play that was the old 78 just to, to see what happens but yeah so lots lots going on and with the colouring videos I've got the Limache one to finish I'm going to try and do that soon I've got the Arteza pencil one to, to do. I haven't even um, started that properly. I haven't even started swatching them yet, so I'll be doing that soon. Um, I've got a, a long video to edit of my Jade Summer collection, which somebody asked me for on Facebook. That will be going up on Friday with how many books I've got and which ones I've coloured in, which ones I haven't, where I store them and uh, what pages I've actually coloured so far and that'll be up on Friday so you'll be able to see that then if you're interested. There's been a lot going up lately because at the end of the month there's always extra because you've got completed pages, you've got hauls as well as the normal stuff. But it's strange to think we're in October. It's not long till the end of the year and Christmas and this year is not really getting any better. Eddie Van Halen died, which is really sad. Johnny Nash died. Johnny Nash was a, a 70s singer. I've got a couple of singles by him recently. So I haven't listened to them yet. So I'll have a listen to see what his music was like. Um, yeah. It's been a weird old year what with you know what's been going on and the situation in the world and the president in the US and all that stuff and we're not going to go into it too much because it's it's beyond me it's just bizarre the whole thing is absolutely bizarre so all I can say is wow <laughs> how do we do it you know what is going on with the world but we keep colouring because that's what we do it is our hobby keeps us sane it certainly keeps me sane I have got and you'll see it in the hall at the end of the month a Johanna Bassford calendar for 2021 which is Inky Wonderlands it's all pictures from all of her books um, I have started colouring in it. I need to do some more because I want to, when Jennifer's room's decorated and completely finished, I'm going to put the calendar up in that room. And then as each picture comes off at the end of the month, we're just going to stick it to the wall. Pin it to the wall so she's got some nice pretty pictures in there. I'm going to get some diamond paintings as well, some like Disney ones. And she loves turtles and dinosaurs. So I might get a, a dinosaur one and I might get a turtle one. Now, I've just noticed my battery's about to go. So I'm going to finish this pumpkin off and I am going to change the battery. Be right back. Right, fresh battery. Let's carry on. We've done the pumpkins. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Can I want this one, I think. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there and there. Excuse me, just humming to myself while I find the right colour. Like this. 
doesn't look like a lot different to the one underneath it actually, it is slightly. So yeah, I've got lots to, to be going on with, so I'll be filming as much as I can this week and uh, Obviously next week I need to do bits of filming and um, obviously the uh, eBay stuff as well. So yeah, we got a lot to be cracking on with. It's really weird doing all this. busy all the time. No wonder I find time, hardly ever find time to read. <laughs> but uh, I will. I definitely will. I like reading too much to stop. So it looks like it's going to rain tomorrow. Today was really nice. It was, it was cold and windy, but it was a nice, nice, uh, a nice day out. You know, it was a nice day to be out and about. It wasn't too, too bad, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it wasn't too bad, so. Tomorrow's probably going to rain, so. It's hard to find things to do with Jen when it's raining. That's the only thing, so. Might have to get the paints out tomorrow. And let her make a bit of a mess with the paints. Luckily, it's washable and put the plastic down, and she's she's fine. But uh, yeah, oh no, sweet, sound asleep. She, she didn't have a sleep this afternoon. She's got to be tired. So I was going to do some more filming after this one, but because this actually does take quite a while and I'm enjoying myself, so I'm not worrying about finishing anytime soon, I thought, I w no, I've missed a rear. I thought I'd uh, just do this and then I can watch a little bit of YouTube before I go to bed and then I'll uh, film the end of the Limache video tomorrow and the... Um, start the Arteza one tomorrow as well so hopefully you'll get the Limache one next week and then the Arteza ones the week after which would be great I'm looking forward to trying the um, Arteza ones I really really am so I do like trying new things, so. Obviously I can't afford to buy tons of new stuff. I'd love to be able to afford the Holbeins and some of the Karen Dash products. I am getting some more of the Neo Color 2s, but only when I need a specific color. I can't afford to buy a full set, sadly. I would if I could, because I know it's cheaper. Um, but for instance, I've got a uh, picture that I want to do a background with new colour too um, and didn't have the right colour blue so I've now got that colour and I will be using that um, in that book. I might start that after what I'm watching TV. I might do. I haven't decided yet. So we'll have to see. So. I do blonde quite a lot and I do red a bit as well so the browns in here they're not that good actually you know I look at them 
There's not a good selection of browns. You got cinnamon and ginger, and then you got brandy rose, sienna brown, hazelnut brown, and desert sand. So, hmm. Then it says cocoa brown and coyote brown and khaki and beach sand, but they're just not what I'm looking for. So I think I'm going to go hazelnut and sienna and just mix the two colours and see what happens. Because that's the way I rock and roll. So one's a ready brown and one's a beigey brown. So let's just, uh, just have a look. So what I do, oh yeah, that's a nice dark colour, we'll use that, that's the sort of colour I want. And then I'm just going to do little sections like this, so just take it down to there for now. And then what I just tend to do is uh, just put another colour over the top just to give it a bit of, it's just looks slightly different, so it's not all looking one dull colour. That's quite a nice colour actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting quite tired so I'm not going to be doing much more tonight. We will carry this on in another video. I'm trying to do as much of it as I can so that maybe we'll just do the two. I'll do the background off camera I think. I think I might go for a different, no that actually red looks really nice actually, this, this colour. I don't know what it is, it's just to give it a little bit of uh, difference. So yeah, let's just try and do as much as I can tonight and then do the background off camera probably. I'll probably just do a black background I think. I probably use I don't know metallic on a jewellery, I don't know, maybe not, I don't know. You know. When you look at something and you're not sure what you want to do with it. That's me. Yeah, at the moment her hair looks a bit funny, so we just put some it'll take the There we go. Oh. I got so many colouring books to colour in, it's unreal. And I keep finding more I want. It's it's not good. There's so many out there I want. It's terrible. I should stop looking at them really, but I can't. I just can't. And then I think, oh, I need that one and I need that one. Now I know they haven't shan't put this as hair, but it would be. If her hair's as long as that, that is gonna be her hair. So I'm just gonna cut that in there. Jennifer now sometimes instead of saying baby's turn, she goes baby turn, meaning she wants to do something, it's her turn to have a go. Sometimes she'll say my turn now, so that's good. So she's identifying as my rather than as the baby, which is good. She can't really say Jennifer yet. She can say sort of sort of say Jen. Which is sweet. And she can count and, but she skips number five. She's got a thing against the number five, so she'll go one, two, three, four, six. <laughs> I think she just can't say five. <laughs> I'm not sure. 
quite funny. I think we also really against the number five. I like the number five. Put some bits in there because it's the earrings. There we go. So yeah, it's quite funny when she does that. She skips the number five. It's like, you've got something against the number five, Jennifer. Have you? Well, she's like, She still loves Andy and the band. She just loves anything to do with music. She dances around. She tries to sing along with, the, if we've got the CD on in the car, she'll try and sing along with it. We've had it off lately because we're not running the engine enough to keep it uh, charged. So we've had to, um, well, it has had a good couple of runs to this week. So it's all right at the moment. So but I've got um, the CD off at the moment. When the CD's on, she's trying to sing along with Andy and the band or whatever we've got on to be honest she loves the music she really loves music it's nice she dances around to it tries to sing and it's very helpful if you you know if she tries to help she tried to help put the the shopping away she was getting stuff out of the carrier bags or the, the shopping bags for us they're not carrier bags anymore they're plastic and then um, handing it to us so you gotta be careful if you get something like a glass coffee jar or something like that in glass in case she drops it and then you've got no coffee not that I drink it if Paul drinks coffee I don't and you know if she can put that in the washing machine Jennifer she'll, she'll go and put it in the washing machine or put that in the bin or put that in the recycling and she knows the difference between the, the rubbish bin and the recycling bin and she'll put it in and she puts her own shoes on now and she managed to put her own over over trousers on her waterproof trousers on last night we we're trying to get rid of bed she's hiding under the table putting her waterproof trousers on for some reason and she actually managed to get them on very very clever girl she's a good girl Well, we do have a lot of fun together. Oh, I've tried as much of this as I can. Like I said, I'll do the background. And then I'll do the pencil work. And then we'll do the metallics afterwards. Because I'm going to do metallic for the candlestick holders and her jewellery. Um, and pencils. So we'll do everything else today and then... And the candles, I think I'm going to do um, different shades of blue, I think. Or different colours. I might have a blue one, a green one, a yellow one, a red one, a pink one. I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking about that while well, I'm doing this bit. So I am still watching colouring videos when I get the chance, I don't always, I tend to binge watch um, a load. Um, so I love Grace's channel but she always live streams everything and it's it's very hard to watch a live stream after the fact because obviously you've got the host Grace or other people doing talking to the people that are commenting and that's absolutely fair enough, that's actually how it should be, you should be uh, commenting on people that are watching your video and, and uh, commenting and talking to you live. It makes it very difficult uh, to watch it back after it's been filmed because you can only see one side of the conversation. Um, so I do, I do watch them but I, it does get a bit, after a while, I do, try, I do try and watch them. I don't do live streams because I can only really film at night so and it's late at night and I wouldn't want all that going on I'd have to have a set up downstairs and excuse me while I'm moving uh, it would have to be all this stuff and I'd have to have my computer there to watch the the comments and the phone to do the filming I did one live once when I was doing my did some of my um uh, what's it called? A haul, reselling haul. Sorry, you can't actually see what I'm doing. Uh, 
and um, yeah, that was fine, but you don't get many people on You know, if I was to stream this time of night, most of the people in America that watch it would be in bed. Or, no, not in bed, they'd be at work. If they work. Some do, some people don't, depending on their circumstances. So, it would be very hard for me to get anybody to watch, to be honest. It might happen one day, but uh, not at the moment. Every now and again I, I catch a live stream live if I can, but uh, it can be quite difficult sometimes, so... Oops. Oh god, her eyebrows are getting worse. There we are. That's fine. <laughs> oh dear me. Okay, uh, mm. I'll use this one first and then I can always go over it because it's a pale colour. to go now. Um, oh, the job really isn't getting really stiff. Uh, let's do the candle holders. No, the candles. Um, let's have a nice blue. What colour is this? Oops, the top's come off. It is sky. I'll come over here and do this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to do them different colours. She's into nature magic, I think, this girl. Okay, so I'll do the... Oh, yeah, I've still got to do the tops of the pumpkins and the eyes, that's fine. I haven't quite finished that. We'll have that one there. I think I'll have... No, not that one. I don't like that colour very much. Where's the one I really like? There it is. cherry pink actually. Let's have a look at this one. Oh that's a nice colour actually. I'm going to have to use that a lot more I think. Oh, I like this one. This is nice. There we go. Uh, 
Um, we'll have a green. We'll have a um, hunter green, I think. That's a dark green, so that'd be nice. We'll have a pale green as well, I think. There we are. We'll have a dark red, I think. We'll have... Ooh. Wine... No, that's too dark. We'll have ruby. For this little one here. That, that's the colour. That's the one I wanted. That is actually the right colour. There we go. I will have... I think I'm going to have a pale pale green on that one. I think you do need a pale, very, very pale green if I can find one, almost. Um, how about... Oh, well, I like lime, actually. That's a nice colour. Oh, my, my left leg is really stiff from the way I'm sitting colouring this. Oh, yeah, that's a nice colour. Yeah, not a colour I use very often. There we are, nearly finished now. I've got, just got a little bit more to do. Um, so I'll find the right colours for it. And then we're we're done for today. And like I said I'm just gonna turn I'm just gonna turn this like this so I can colour the thing because the thing's in the way for me being left-handed. things to do I just got to find the right colours for them so go back in will ya right so I'm gonna go with this one and this is just for the stamp here it looks pretty much the same colour oh well uh, a bit darker actually And we'll do the same on this side here. Well, this is quite a long video, it's probably about fifth gonna be about 50 minutes, I would say. So then I'm gonna use this one, which is jasmine yellow, just for the inside of the eyes of the pumpkins, just so that it looks slightly off-white. That's a good colour actually for that. Oh, there's my phone, yeah. <laughs> Pinking at me. Right, so. There we go, all done. I will do the background off camera um, before we do the next colour and chat. So let's have a look at what we've done so far. So there we go, so far we have done everything in the next video i will go over her skin do a bit on her eyes and her dress uh, with some pencil and then we will color her jewelry and the candle holders with various metallic pens so that's going to be in the next episode i really hope you've enjoyed this coloring chat with me if you have please give the video a good thumbs up don't forget to oops to share this with your friends subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and leave me a comment down below let me know what you think and i'll see you all in the next one thanks guys bye <laughs>